Yo, what up, what up, what up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Relations 101. Thank you, thank you. Um, this is a different episode that's very, uh, you know, very, very different. Uh, let's start saying what's up and welcome everybody. I'm back. You know, I told you I'm gonna do the in-house studio thing. That's probably the best thing for me to do uh, during this time. But check this out. This last one was about when you move a man in. That's the topic. All right, listen. Ladies, remember this. When you move a man in your house, don't expect a lot from him, okay? What you expect from a man that you move in your house is some dick, gas money, and food in the house. Don't never expect a man to help pay with the bills. I mean, you gotta remember, if he do help pay, help help you pay the bills, he may do that shit maybe once or twice, okay? But what I need y'all to understand, ladies, is you always gotta live life as you by yourself. Even though you got a man in the house, always try to live life like you by yourself. Because don't depend on no man to pay your motherfucking rent. Because think about this, though. You depend on a man to pay your rent. What's going to happen is you just go ahead and get half of your money. You get half of the rent. You give half and you spend the rest of your money and fuck it off and buying bullshit like I usually buy. And then you ask him, hey, babe, you got your half of the rent. Yeah, babe, I got the money. I sure do. I got the money. Then you look up. He don't have it. You can't get mad at him. You can't get mad at him because he have no ties to that house. He's basically you. You basically took in a um. You basically took in a guy that really don't need you. Like he can. He's like a what you call what you call people that 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 um. That come. He basically is a uh uh. I can't think of the name. Of him, but he basically there for a minute. He can leave any time. Ain't nothing you can do about that. You can't assume, you can't do none of that. Cause you moved them in your house. That's your problem. You gotta be careful when you take these men in. You gotta be very, very careful. You know what I'm saying? Because they have them ties to you for real. You want them there, you show them love, you move them in, that's what happens. He liable to fuck you over. So what I'm trying to tell y'all ladies is be careful who you bring in your house. Because remember, y'all have no ties to each other. Like I said, food, Dick and gas money is all you want to get from that relationship if you move him in. Because you got to remember, once he get in real good, and if something else come along, he's definitely going to leave you. He's going to leave. He's going. If somebody come along better than you, got a car, let him drive the car, let him do whatever, he's definitely going to leave. So, don't never... The, the moral of the story is make sure you live life like you have no man. So that way you won't be fucked at the end. That way you paid your rent, pay your bills. I just look at it like this. You have to live there. He don't. Especially you got kids. Don't depend on no man to pay half your rent when you got children. Pay your own rent because that way you won't be sitting here looking like how I'm going to pay the rent, how I'm going to buy food. Man, I'm, I can keep this going for days, but I'm not going to keep running my mouth. I'm giving you, you know, I'm just starting this back up. <laughs> That's the topic that came to my mind when I said I was going to do the show. Is make sure that you pay your rent. You know, make sure you be careful who you bring in your house. Make sure you get the right man that's going to help you and, and support you in the things that you do. You know what I'm saying? You definitely want that. You definitely want love and you want to do it, you know what I'm saying, together. In the household, you definitely want to do that, you know. And, uh, you know, like I said, we in the studio. We in Good Men Studios right now. You know what I'm saying? I got the studio now. And you're going to get more videos. We're going to keep it posted. We're going to keep it jumping. We in here. Um, That's about it. This ain't going to be a long video because I really couldn't think of to say. And another thing, uh, just make sure when you're with somebody that is real. If you're going to move them in the house, make sure when you move them in the house, make sure you put them on a lease. 
Make sure that he have some ties to that. You know, that's one thing I got to say. When people move people in, you move them in for the wrong reasons. Because, you know, I've been in relationships where I was with them for the wrong reasons. Get to know a person before you move them in. Get to know who they are. Get to know everything about them. You have to know who you're dealing with when somebody comes in your house. Know how they live. Know how they are. And once you know that, you'll be good. You know what I'm saying? Like, for staying with somebody, I never want to do that. I had a bad experience living with people. Ain't nothing like your own place. Ain't nothing like your own peace of mind. You got to be in the house hearing kids scream. You try to go eat. The food gone. Motherfuckers had all the food up from you. That is terrible. In my house, food go bad now. Because I can't get to it right away. But <laughs> I'd rather afford to go bad than to go hungry. But this been Relations 101. Let's get it going. Peace. And shouts out to Queen Ray. Y'all go subscribe to her channel. Get her to a thousand. Y'all subscribe to my channel. Get me to a thousand. Peace. I'm out.